All right, today I wanted to see what disc golf will look like as a brand new viewer. I'm watching a thousand disc golf shorts and I'm trying to summate what the disc golf experience will look like to you as a brand new viewer. Speaking for me from the future, I saw so many shorts. A lot of them were low effort. A lot of them are really good. A lot of them were just regurgitated content from like years and years ago. A lot of them seem to just be like the most viewed shorts on someone's channel, which is all good. And I definitely think YouTube thinks disc golf and golf are the same thing. But with that, let's see how my 100 shorts went and what we can summarize from this entire journey. So I created a brand new YouTube account trying to generate just a little bit more riz in the disc golf world. Uh, so I had a new user called not Simon Lozat, but Simone Rizat, uh, generating a little bit more Riz for Simon. So with that, he's gonna be watching some Jomez, he's gonna be watching some Drew Gibson, uh, Vedanza, uh, Casey, and I think a Simon video. And that will kind of get Simone into the disc golf algorithm, make sure that we're watching the right stuff. Uh, but even with that, we still got a lot of stuff that was not disc golf related, which is very annoying because I mean, I get YouTube Shorts only has so much disc golf content to put out there, but it really wants you to watch golf, even though I really don't want to watch golf. But with that, let's get into it. We got your boy, Simone Rizat. Uh, your boy, uh, Simon got rizzed up and this is his new glow up with a new user account. So let's see if Mr. Razat has some riz to show the YouTube world. All right, he is right. no stranger Good to job, Rick. Good putts. Good chips. We always see the best. Personally, right. yeah. Professionally, yeah. All right, also Simone, what are you commenting? <laughs> I'll give it a go. Say we phenomenal have coverage. First. Let's go PDGA. Let's get down our algorithm. Her feet. I won my worlds here with a three under. Let's do USDGC. Come on, make the putt. Oh, he's the go. He's the best of all time. GG, boys. It's unbelievable. It's GG. unbelievable. GG. We've been trying to crochet at this guy for the past couple seasons, but he didn't win everything during it. Doesn't matter. He's still Sorry, Kyle. Come on, Paul. I think he has a good chance of making this. I, I think he's got it. 2600, that doesn't actually sound that good. But I'm also not a pro, so what do I know? Oh, Bowser engaged. All right, all right. Good stuff, good stuff, liking it. All right, we got some foundation. I think if we go foundation, we'll probably find good stuff there. All right. Drop foundation, boys, keep it up. All right, let's make sure we get enough, like 30 seconds to remain retention. Good job. Got Richard for that. Definitely getting a full view there. I don't think I'll comment because that just feels weird for Simone. Simone's like, he's kind of a lurker and we need to like respect that for Simone. Let's go into YouTube shorts, see what we got. And if we don't get enough, oh, we gotta go Bedanza. I think that was definitely a clear misstep that I made. Full Yankee. There you go, some guys are way yeah, down. We're really good, <laughs> That's like, that's 80 square. He is. Both of them are just really good. Wait, so that's how it's supposed to fly? I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> you threw a good on the last one. I think Simone's yeah, gonna, safe. Simone's gonna like this type of content. Thank you. We'll give it a comment. I'm sorry. All right, I think we officially have enough content to uh, cement Simone as a very avid disc golf watcher. Let's just open up all of them. Simone is just binging today. He's feeling good. Disc <laughs> golfer. Oh. Let's see where we go from first short Jeremy Colling at the Japan Open. Probably a great one to start with. Just quality disc golf. Good stuff from Jerm. Ooh, Innova. Okay, okay. This is an iconic oh, 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 shot. Honestly, I didn't think it was that good of a form, but it jams in, so who cares? Oh, oh my God. Good stuff. Right, so a lot of people ask, what is tour distance? We got Scott, and tour distance the first does not three, mean you have to throw not like too surprised by that. Or <laughs> so I will say, I think Scott probably isn't like the most clickbaity uh, form of disc golf content that we get with like three shorts in, but I do think he consistently has good stuff that I'm not sad or surprised that we get him in the first three shorts, uh, but just interesting. All right, Bryson, I'll give you 500. We got freaking golf, freaking golf. I don't like, I don't want this on my feed. There we go. We got to the Big disc golf pro tour. Love it. Tee here. 
Safe to say. Not really surprised we saw this one. Yeah, you saw the little extra run so by McMahon. Probably one of the best shots put a of move all time. On this. this one might Only be it actually funny. mattered. Wow. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. Eagle I'm happy with that. I'm very happy that that's where it is called. Uh, Schwartz got it. A lot of old school forehand teachers teach All right, we got Iceberg. Pizza, which kind of looks like that. That's a very it small range of motion. It looks a little bit it's like... It's a very slight flick of the wrist. And that it got re-rendered like a couple of times. Frisbee. And so that's you look a little pixelated, like 90s television. But that's okay. We're still loving the vibe. Like we have a freestyle... We have a freestyle frisbee thrower. Was not expecting to see that. Cut roll disc golf. <laughs> All right, that's good content. That is good content. What a beast of a course. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Well, I can't say I know about this guy. Interesting vibe. I, I like that. I really like that. All right, we got dynamic finally. Back to disc golf. Uh, Ricky MVP 2023 open. Okay. Staying back on track. I'm surprised we're not seeing more creators. We're just seeing like the biggest names, but makes sense. Right. Probably not going to see a wild run short anytime soon in this algorithm. All right, just turned my uh, volume down. So hopefully you don't hear Ricky screaming. Pretty much just like that. That's going to be money. Man, I wish I had that forehand. What a go. All right, back to Scott. Oh, there we go. Just disc. Okay. I think we need to subscribe. That was a pretty bad spit out. All right. Good stuff. I'm liking just disc as part of my algorithm. That is a little bit more niche. And I think he's just a like that perfect creator of what I'm looking for when I kind of dive into what disc golf content looks like at the moment. Regurgitated content from the biggest names like Dynamic and Disc Golf Pro Tour and Jomez. Honestly, I don't think that's it. very interesting. So I'm excited to see a little bit more niche stuff. All right, back to Innova. We'll take it, we'll take it. I, I'm not surprised we're seeing lots and lots of aces. But again, I would like to see a little bit more unique content. But you get to see Hype Simon, so it's all good. Or not Hype Simon, Hype Calvin. Oh, there's Hype Simon. I was right. All right, sorry, Golf. We do not want you. This feels... I just don't understand. I just want disc golf, so please give me that. All right, we got a brand new Innova short. Oh. All right, Simone is liking that. Yeah, Simone's commenting. That was rizzed up all the way. Oh, disc golf united. Okay, liking this. I don't understand how the basket was level with the hill. Oh, it's one of these courses. Okay. Yeah, let's go. This is one of those really cool, uh, like marathons every single day. And it's like a crazy twisted marathon, a really cool concept, but not for today. We're getting more Scott. I am very surprised to see him blowing up our algorithm because again, like his views are pretty good. He has a consistent upload schedule. He has a lot to say. So his videos have a very long viewer duration. He has a lot of shorts, apparently. Um, but I'm still just a little bit surprised because I feel like my algorithm has so little of Scott on it. So I'm very intrigued to see why YouTube said, you know what? We want Scott to basically be like 40% of your disc golf content. All right, team money, let's go.
Got some Canadian accents, I think, there, bud. He's about to rip one. He's not messing around today. He's going to mess up that basket, and he's not feeling one bit hesitant about it. Oh, good run. Good run. Try again. All right. Team Money. <laughs> Simone is liking Team Money for sure. W. Landon. Yeah, we're getting to that, like, it's not, <laughs> I don't want to be rude here. It's not, like, obscure, but it feels much more, like, raw. Like, somebody just had their phone out, was recording this, and I'm very interested to see where that goes in our algorithm. Because, um, honestly, this is the type of content I would like to see on my feed. Uh, still, nobody is repping um, any of Foundation, any Wild Runs, any uh, Bedanza. We're not seeing... Drew, not seen Simon. I don't think Simon does shorts, but we're not seeing big names for creators besides Scott. Shot, Scott was really showing up. We're seeing random names, which is so cool. Uh, I don't really understand the point of that, but that was, that was something. All right, we're in need of a refresh because we're getting into a weird YouTube short category. And I just want disc golf content, please. All right, we got back to Innova reposting content. Oh, T Money. Wasn't expecting to see him back on the algo, but nice. Okay. It's crazy how much YouTube really does think golf and disc golf are the same thing. It's not, it's very much not the same. All right, let's give Iceberg. Ooh. Yeah, sick ace. Love it. Oh, T Money. I have seen this guy at this particular course, and he really does rip. I like his vibe. Uh, I've not seen really anything from him that isn't Olympus, but really cool player. <laughs> And we're back on the Scott train. All right, we have a lot of Scott and a lot of Innova. I am betting that they pump out content like none other. I am uh, thinking that is my boy Randy Dueck from Belize. Yeah, this is it's actually his post on Instagram got yeah, reposted to Innova. All right, I think this might be our first Jomez. Um, I feel like this is the type of content that I would definitely want to see. It's hilarious, it says disc golf. Um, but yeah, good stuff, good quality content. I think if you are anybody that is getting into disc golf, this is the type of content that you probably want to see the most. Because I know if it's Scott, but Scott's like a little bit more into like his own game, his own career. Uh, if you're just scrolling through YouTube, wanting to see disc golf, probably not going to want to see much of Scott unless you know about him, uh, which most people are not going to know. Uh, but with that said, this is about Paige. And if you want to see good disc golf, you're probably not going to want to see a like page interview. You want to see page throw, not page talk, uh, but still good stuff from uh, Joe Mez. This is something I find very interesting. What is the average YouTube short person wanting to watch? Cause like for so many of us, we are so deep into the weeds of disc golf. Like, I see Paige talking about her injury and I know exactly where she's coming from. I know the exact uh, timeline of events, but if you are just like a normie that doesn't know anything about disc golf, do you care about a Paige interview? I don't know. I don't know if this is good content for shorts, but Jomez has it. Good, good likes, uh, comments decent. I'd say you probably want a little bit more for a channel that has so many subscribers. Now we're back onto what I think is the obscure kind of not well-known disc golf content, but I think Simone is liking this. Oh, just so good. That's the type of stuff I want to see. All right, we got Jay Millie pretty early on. That is number 22. Um, this is what I expect to see the most of when I think about a brand new account want wanting to see disc golf shorts. Um, I've seen this probably a dozen times, but let's watch it one more time. And let's give it a comment.
I just love how his editing is just like perfect for YouTube shorts. It's crazy. Um, and I just want to reiterate that he is doing probably the best summation of shorts for disc golf content. I want to become a better version of my content and essentially become a better version of my channel to not mimic Jay Milley, but to be on the same level as Jay Milley and Bedanza. Uh, it's not there yet, but hopefully we'll get there. Uh, yeah, Simone is saying, what a wild, wild ride. And hopefully he uh, finds out that that is me. I will say this is not going to be the type of content that I'm looking for. I kind of want a little bit more effort put into it, but still, we're seeing disc golf. Oh, I think Ultimate is definitely in the same realm as disc golf, so I'm liking this. I'm going to add it to my counter. I know it's not true disc golf, but who cares? All right, we got Sayananda. Oh. We have Frisbee Rob, a dog disc uh, short. This isn't going to count, but still very cool that this is part of our algorithm. Oh, he has a great form. Let's see that dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a happy doggo. Oh, we're getting a lot of uh, land in here. Giving him a like. Again, he's just kind of throwing a shot. With that, that is a quarter of the way through. I think we have five land in shorts. It's very interesting. YouTube thinks that we love basketball, love golf. We want to see a lot of like distance runners and cross country. And overall, it is a lot of, I'm not mentioning it, but a lot of what I would consider geared towards like making people horny. That was the vibe I get. So interesting that that is the way that a brand new account wanting to watch disc golf is uh, going, but that is typically the way things go. So I'm not too surprised. Oh, back to just disc. Okay. I will say one gripe. I don't have many gripes, but I will say one gripe. I think he doesn't edit the uh, raw footage enough to make it a true short of his own. Um, unless this actually is stuff that he's filmed. I don't know for sure. But still, we're getting to disc golf world, so I'm liking it. Oh, we got foundation. Okay, okay. Antilla. Hurricane Antilla. The pickleball of golf. What a good job, broadcasters. Very creative. <laughs> if we see Happy Nicholas, we comment on Happy. All right. Simone thinks that's hilarious. He's given us a uh, very pumped up emoji. We have a lot of team money. Oh, we have a follow flight. Okay. Let's go. Sorry, Brody. We're very, very pixelated to be on a short, uh, but still love to see Nicholas get interviewed about probably one of the sickest moments of his entire career. Back to Innova. Hey, I'm going there in two weeks. Let's uh, go Jonesboro. Get another Calvin win. First one of the year, maybe. This really is just the perfect shot for Calvin. Oh, it's just so good every time. I was so upset. I was there at the event. I went home early because I just had to get home because it's like a super long drive. And I heard about the chaos that was this event. And then I missed it. I missed it. But yeah, we're a big fan of that one. Link, the disc golf guy. Okay. The concept of making videos every day until something happens. I am not the biggest fan because it feels like it's gonna get a little bit stale. There's not really new stuff being generated in that type of world. Still having a very concrete concept that you're executing on. I like it, but let's see how he executes the shot. Got random guy in the background. It's good vibes. These are literal children. They're already better putters. They have a, <laughs> they, <laughs> they got their code to Upper Park. They are on it. 
All right, we are officially on the foundation podcast algo. Not good or bad, just kind of the place that we're at. I will say I get a lot of his shorts that pop up my feed. And when I do watch the entire thing, oftentimes I'm like, yeah, I should start doing that. It's very helpful tips. Whoa. That is wild. It is crazy what people can actually do with Frisbees. Like, how do you get to have that kind of dexterity to do that? Sick. Very sick. All right, back on team money. I'm not going to like this because I think we're getting a little too much team money. Oh, but that was sick. Uh, we we got to like it, but I don't want to get on this track. I want to get some different content. All right, this is wild. We are officially into the normie stream, entering into the disc golf world. I am very intrigued to see where this goes. Yeah, this person has like millions of subscribers. I think I've actually literally been there. Interesting. Was not expecting the video to go so like robot-y, but still we got to disc golf, so not bad. Not bad. Oh, gatekeeper. Okay. We're liking it. Just the goat. We are on to Discus or Discus uh, YouTube Shorts. Very interesting overlap here. I think there is so definitely a parallel here. I I don't know where it is, but I think there's a parallel between Disc Golf and Discus. Getting some more J Millie. Oh, this is like this is like now. This is a <laughs> couple of days ago type short. Okay. Back to the Ricky. Ricky just at 2023 MVP Open. Oh, we officially have a non-mainstream disc golf content. Let's go. All right, love that. Simone is loving that. Oh, we got into the disc golf world. I'm intrigued that it took this long to get to the disc golf world. It feels like this is stuff that should have been coming up like way earlier, but maybe they're just more long form and less shorts. More Innova. Sick Ace. Oh, we got obscure disc golfers. Love it. All right, got more Simon. Gatekeeper is loving it. Although they do capture some amazing shots because he doesn't always get on lead card. Getting more J Millie, more uh, disc golf world, which I think is kind of where disc golf is at for at least my view of it. So I think it's cool that we're finally getting to like that equilibrium for what disc golf truly is and not just like the big names. Oh, first Bedanza one. I think this is his most viewed short. And our 50th YouTube short is Just Disc. All right, so, so far, Simone, as a brand new YouTube account, uh, Simone is seen basically Jomez, Innova. I'm not gonna say no name, but people that are not at all like established on YouTube. Um, and finally we get to like the more, uh, I would say unique and interesting creators like Jay Millie, Bedanza, uh, Disc Golf World, I think Just Disc. Uh, this is a good trend, but it took a while to get there. I thought it was going to be a much quicker process because I continually said, I don't want golf. I don't want basketball. I don't want bowling. I don't want random weird content, but YouTube Shorts really wants to uh, broaden your tree to make sure that you get the most weird content ever. But we're getting there. Finally get to see what it takes to become an established uh, disc golf viewer because I thought it was an easy, straightforward process. Clearly it is not. There's a lot more to it. So 50 more Shorts, European Open. 
Kyle is just the best. Great form. Doesn't always finish well, but just every time I see him throw, it's just like, how is he not winning? Oh, it's dynamic. We are seeing, we are seeing just like 10 frames a second. That is crazy. I don't know why this is so low quality for dynamic. All right, just golf world. Get to see some Drew. Man, he just creates the best. Just the best. All right, back to just disc. Interesting music choice. One of the best shots goes in. Oh, no, not that one. Oh, we got some Ezra. I think this might be our first Ezra. I know I saw it on the homepage. Back to some T Money. I like that he's consistently doing a little bit of editing, a little bit of more than just give away, throw a disc. Um, so that's cool. I can see a level of evolution. Got some GK Pro. Wow, I've never seen that. This is uh, Australia or New Zealand disc golf. Uh, these people are really good. I love those baskets. All right, random side note. I was in Tokyo at the only disc golf store, I believe, in Japan. I'm sure there's like some retailers outside of Japan, outside of Tokyo, but I was in this one uh, store in Tokyo and I asked the store owner, hey, have you ever played with uh, Kajiyama? Thinking it was probably like a very small chance but now he was like oh yeah yeah i played with him he's he's really cool and i was like that's so cool <laughs> i want to play with kajiyama so bad uh side note oh new realm precision frolf media i think this might be teetering on the edge of simone not liking it but it is something that i think would be very interesting to at least explore so simone he's subscribing he's liking it and again we're just doing the shots which is fine, it's fine. It's just like, we could do a little bit more uh, hyping up. Cause you look at Jay Milley, the reason why I think he's just so good is cause he creates a narrative around every single video. No matter how long it is, no matter how short it is, he creates a full length narrative. Bonanza is very good at this as well, but he's kind of more long form. And I think while his videos are very, very good, they're more tailored to a smaller niche uh, than a person like Jay Milley. So I want to see I say this even though my content doesn't really fit that category. I want to see more of a structural narrative to these videos rather than just throwing a disc. Oh, oh, new channel, new channel, Captain Crush. Uh, again, we're just seeing shots. All right, I was not recording the last like 20 shorts, but we got some Nate Turner. I just go back. We got KK Disc Golf, good stuff. We got Disc Golf United. We got our first Nate Turner, like I said. Got some more Ricky from Dynamic. Got the uh, just throw from clearly like the Arizona uh, Fountain Hills area. We got some more Scott, but with that said, we are at 90 shorts. So let's see where it ends up. Let's go with the Disc Golf United. Again, we're just posting a shot. We do have a flight tracker, which is cool, but there's just no narrative, which is going to make it a hard video for the algorithm to continue for people to want to watch. All right, now that we got Nate Turner once, we're gonna get him a lot more. And just take this beautiful straight shot. And that's just quality content. Good stuff all around. A very like authentic moment. He was tilted, he makes the shot. All right, more Nate. See, there's already just so much more energy than the average video that we've seen. There was a little bit of pixelation. Oh, cause he's just reposting from TikTok, but you can definitely tell why some content creators are just so much better than the rest because you can just tell the amount of charisma the amount of effort the amount of uniqueness is just there it is clearly evident as to why these con content creators are so much more popular than others got some gatekeeper at maple hill i actually don't know who that was 
Sick ace. All right, Christopher Daniel. That was a wild putt. Is that really his normal putt? Oh, more Ezra. All right, coming to a close and Ezra staying strong. Love to see it. Everyone knows the intentional B call or intentional OB throw, legendary. Oh, oh, KK. KK representing the the Neospore even more. Oh no, we got a new content creator, but you can't even see the throw. Uh-oh. All right, I can definitely tell this is probably recorded on his phone. Didn't look at where he was recording. I've done this many times. But ultimately, you just shouldn't be uploading a video where you can't see anything. And we end it on the basketball shot. Seems fitting. All right, that's that's fitting for right after Texas States. Okay. <laughs> that was actually a lot more uh, punishing than I thought it was going to be. But move on to full screen. All right, so with that, that was a hundred YouTube shorts. Very painfully took much, much more uh, more effort than I thought it was going to be. There was so much weirdness and so many moments that I was just like, why is YouTube recommending me so much content that I don't want to watch? It was very evident that people's eyes are clearly on some other stuff, which is why YouTube is recommending so many weird stuff. But with that said, I have a couple of overall considerations for what I thought about watching a hundred YouTube shorts. Oh, my eyes are just <laughs> glazed over because it was, it was brutal. Um, all right, first one being uniqueness is hard to find. There is so many disc golf creators that are trying to consistently upload, but just struggle with finding their kind of voice, finding their narrative, finding what people want to see from them. I, I struggle with that as well, but it is very clear that a lot of these videos are just people recording the shot on their phone, pretty much just straight uploading it with a couple of edits, adding some captions, um, and that was pretty much it. And especially for the bigger names, I saw that too. It was basically like, hey, let's watch Simon throw a good shot. Let's watch uh, Ricky throw a good shot. But at least for me, I feel like the only things that will really stick in my mind are uh, Jay Millie videos. I feel like they were just so well edited. The timing on it was so like very quick. You knew what the like purpose of the video was. And then obviously Nate Turner, he had great stuff as well. There was a couple of videos that were just re-uploads from TikTok, um, which I would like to see him not do that. <laughs> uh, no shade to Nate, but uh, definitely the overall trend again was just like a low level of effort. I don't want to say that my videos are just extremely high effort because they're not, I know that I want to make higher effort videos, but that's not always the case. But just seeing how consistently good quality was hard to come by was a little bit sad because he even had stuff from Innova that was just like low quality or just straight up rips from other Innova players. Innova can post your stuff and get your name out there a little bit more. I get that, but I still would like to see more stuff like that Dave Dunapace uh, review about like how to throw with more nose down angle. That was great. I didn't get to see a lot of stuff like that from Innova. It was mainly uh, more just like scene shots from good players like Calvin. So overall, I would rate this honestly just a not great experience. I would hope that the disc golf world evolves like YouTube shorts just a couple years ago. We're not anywhere near what it was even today. So there's definitely growth. And I hope that at least my videos will add to that growth and not subtract from it. But with that said, what do you guys think about Simone's recommendations for the YouTube algorithm? Uh, do you think it was a good experience for Simone? Or do you think Simone Razat is going to be leaving YouTube because there was no Riz, no love for disc golf. It was a lot of golf, a lot of weirdly sexual content, weirdly just weird content. I don't know. It was, it was a lot. <laughs> so with that said, thank you so much for watching. Wild Runs, signing out. Peace. And also make sure to subscribe to Simon Razat. I, I'm not going to upload him, so don't, don't actually subscribe. Subscribe to me. But uh, with that said, Wild Runs, signing out. Peace.